Hi, my name is George Artes and I'm the CEO of Spectrum H2. Thank you for the opportunity to present at the Mayor's Innovation Challenge. I'm delighted to be here. According to Calgary Economic Development, clean tech represents a potential $3.8 trillion opportunity. Calgary was ranked one of the world's top 15 ecosystems with more than 70% of Alberta's clean tech headquarters located right here in Calgary. Next slide. One of those companies is Spectrum H2, and we are excited to present a significant clean tech opportunity to the city of Calgary. This opportunity includes the blending of zero emission hydrogen into the natural gas distribution system in Calgary. Next slide. Our goal is to provide Calgary through ATCO with hydrogen blending into natural gas lines to reduce Calgary's greenhouse gas emissions. Let me tell you how we plan on making blue hydrogen. We will be producing blue hydrogen using a steam methane reformer, which takes natural gas and converts it to hydrogen and carbon dioxide. Up to 96% of that carbon dioxide will be captured and sequestered locally in a safe, deep underground geologic reservoir which allows for the remainder of the production, the blue hydrogen, to be injected directly into the distribution system of Calgary. Currently, ATCO is blending hydrogen in Fort Saskatchewan and Australia. And we would like to do the same thing in Calgary to help reduce Calgary's greenhouse gas emissions. We'd like to do this using skilled workforce that's available in Calgary and some of the existing infrastructure that's also available adjacent to this opportunity. Next slide. Spectrum H2 is planning to design, engineer, construct and operate a blue hydrogen facility in the northeast of Calgary. This facility can be developed using Calgary know-how and we've been doing this for decades uh, so we do know how to do this. Our units are modular and can be added onto as demand for blue hydrogen increases. In Alberta, we are fortunate to have abundant natural gas and an extensive geologic formations that would accept CO2 for, for disposal indefinitely. In essence, what we are doing is stripping the carbon from the natural gas stream and then re-injecting that zero emission hydrogen into the distribution system to reduce Calgary's greenhouse gas emissions. We've already secured three disposal zones for CO2, and we have initiated discussions on cost estimates and feasibility with a Calgary-based EPC firm. During the initial construction phase, this project will employ dozens of skilled Calgary workers and many afterwards to operate the plant. We are planning to include Aboriginal involvement from both an ownership and a service provider point of view. We believe that this project will inspire future joint ownership projects with Aboriginal communities across the province. Next slide. Our ask of the city is to partner with Spectrum in the creation of a business relationship with the appropriate parties, including ATCO, to blend blue hydrogen into the city distribution system. In addition, we would like to apply jointly with the city of Calgary to apply for the numerous grants and funding opportunities that exist. Finally, we are looking to the city for a multi-year offtake agreement, which would de-risk investment into the project and provide an end user for blue hydrogen. This would allow Spectrum H2 to obtain financing to begin the planning and construction of the project. This project not only sets the stage for the developing hydrogen economy, but also establishes Calgary as a leader in the growing low carbon economy. Next slide. Hydrogen blending into the distribution system will help the city of Calgary reduce their greenhouse gas emissions in order to meet the 80% reduction in citywide emissions as targeted in the city's climate resilience strategy. This project is well suited for the city of Calgary for the following reasons. The blending of hydrogen into the existing natural gas system will reduce emissions intensity for customers throughout the city. By leveraging our abundant natural gas resources, existing infrastructure and energy experience, 
we will get our workers back to work and allow for the repurposing of pipelines and well bores that are currently not being used. Also, Alberta can produce zero emissions hydrogen at a lower cost than almost any other jurisdiction on the planet. A Japanese study reported that only Russia can produce blue hydrogen at a cheaper cost. This project is affordable and it allows for the decarbonization of the production of heat, which is vital to achieve Canada's long-term emissions targets. Safe hydrogen production and blending has been taking place for decades in Europe. ATCO right now has a blending opportunity that they're expanding on at the Fort Saskatchewan location, and they're also currently blending in Australia. So we know that ATCO knows how to do this. They've done it before. Even a small amount of hydrogen blending can significantly reduce the CO2 emissions of the city. This project enables Calgary to adopt a sustainable energy pathway through a local Calgary solution. That is the end of the slides. I'd like to take this final moment to reiterate our ask to the City of Calgary. We would like the City to facilitate an arrangement with ATCO for this blue hydrogen blending opportunity. The City has the potential to lead the growing blue hydrogen industry and we feel that hydrogen blending is def a defining step along our pathway to a low carbon environment. The team at Spectrum H2 is excited to move forward with the City and we thank you for your time and interest in Spectrum H2.